This week, we're talking about the Kubernetes Product Security Committee, Java 11 for App Engine, and GKE usage metering. I'm Carter Morgan, and welcome to This Week in Cloud, where we serve you the lowest latency news. When it comes to open source software, there's plenty of work to be done. That can be both encouraging and terrifying, depending on your perspective. If you're a company considering Kubernetes as the core of your cloud strategy, this recap of security investigations should be a great comfort to you and your CTO. It's a great breakdown of how vulnerabilities are assessed, investigated, and resolved by the Product Security Committee for Kubernetes. Speaking of resolving things, Java 11 for App Engine is now generally available. So if you've been dreaming of building modern Java backends, using modern frameworks, or simply using the latest language features of Java 11, your dreams have come true. Also new this week, more features in BigQuery. We've added new scripting and stored procedures, multiple queries in a single statement, simplified the process for migrating Teradata to BigQuery, and increased BI engine reservations. These updates bring even more flexibility, simplicity, and choice to your data warehouse. As always, Google Cloud is designed to be flexible, and this means making sure your cloud usage fits your needs. To help out with this, Google Kubernetes Engine rolled out usage metering in beta earlier this year. It's now ready for anyone to use, so you can reduce waste thanks to consumption-based metrics that allow you to compare and contrast resource requests with actual utilization. If you want to read more about these announcements or see a full list, check out the link. And if you have any thoughts or ideas, leave us a comment or tweet us. I'm Carter Morgan, and we'll see you in the cloud.